In this video, I'm going to show you how to add even more advanced features to your design by creating highlights and shadows that really make your design pop. Now, I've already added some gradients. I've covered this in a previous video of how to create and modify your gradients. I'm going to do something a little different in this, in this video. I'm going to make highlights and shadows manually. So I'm going to use the ellipse tool. You can use the pen or pencil tool as well. I'm just going to draw a shape and I'm going to fill it with white to make a really bright highlight there. And so as you see that's an obvious really bright solid high contrast highlight there. Um, so that's that's basically all you have to do to make your highlight if you want that bright effect like that. Um, my original photograph actually had some bright look, bright highlights to it um, as you see there and that might be effective for your particular design. Um, but I want to do a little bit more to that. I'm going to make that blend a little bit more by going to effect, stylize, and choosing feather. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. This is just one, effect, stylize, feather and check preview to give yourself a preview. That's why I like this effect because you can preview it and you can bump up the amount of feather. So it's a slight feather or a more high contrast feather. So get it where you want it. I'm just going to do a radius of one inch for my design and that's just a slight feather. Now you might want to adjust that further. Um, if you want to adjust a feather or any effect further, you have to go to the appearance panel. So that's window appearance that opens up the appearance panel which you see right here and you see the word feather right there. Um, if you apply a feather to a feather it may work to a degree but it's not going to work three times. It's only going to work a little bit the second time and then it's not going to work. So you have to go into the appearance panel and click the word feather right here to edit the effect as the balloon help says. So now I can change the feather radius more or less as I see fit and so there's just a slight feather. So I can apply the same technique to create a shadow to my design. I'm going to do this one a little different. I'll use the pencil tool. I'm going to draw a really rough shadow here. It's just going to be a really big mess. Um, I'm going to fill it with black. You probably want to use like a dark brown color actually. I might just go to a dark reddish color there and then I'm going to go to effect I can go ahead and apply that feather I'm just going to go f effect stylize feather and I'm going to bump the feather radius up actually that works pretty well right there um, to wherever I need it again I can adjust that further I can even turn it off by clicking on the eyeball right there it turns it off so that's a really neat aspect of this but there's your there's your shadow and there's your highlight and you can also go to edit copy or hold the alt or option key down and drag your object and it will edit copy edit paste that's what I meant to do um, now I'm going to paste it and you can place two of these beside each other and if you hold the alt or option key like I mentioned you can drag the object just hold alt or option alt or option and click and drag click and drag click and drag what I'm doing let me show you what I'm doing I'm going to go to view outline I'm making multiple circles. So Alt or Option copies whatever object you have your mouse dragging. And Alt, I'm going to go back to View, Preview, Command Y is what I hit. And you can make your highlight like that as well. So it's just different ways to do that um, to make your design pop even more than just applying a gradient. That's one way to do it. Now you can also apply gradient mesh. I'll cover that in future videos and um, you can apply other effects as well to make your design really come to life.